back to my channel and guys I have an unboxing <laughs> it has been four months well it feels like years that I've done an unboxing a diamond art club a square and you can see that by the blue ribbon but also of course by the <laughs> square <laughs> that you see over here and the distinction is that the round kits this is a round and this is pink so oh guys it feels like forever so if you're new here and you're like okay why hasn't she done an unboxing well guys i'm doing a diamond painting stash detox which means that i'm actually trying to work through my current stash and stop buying new diamond paintings and that's hard i can tell you and if you want to know more about the diamond painting stash detox i'll put a link over there so you can go and check that out from the beginning but today, oh, I can, look, I'm taking the plastic off, so it really is new. Um, what I'm going to show you is a sneak peek, a sneak peek, no, not a real sneak peek from a new diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, but a sneak peek of the final editions, because, guys, Oh, look at the box and the shimmer. Oh, it's been so long since, I, since I've unboxed one. Look, I'll show you in the back in case you're new. This is how it works. You've got the beautiful shimmer. But Diamond Art Club has been bringing out new kits, Diamond Art Club kits, like crazy. Each week there are like five or six new diamond painting kits. And they're bringing out limited editions and they're uh, discontinuing kits. And there's a special segment on the Diamond Art Club website for kits that are being discontinued and it says final edition or limited edition and if you want them please go get them because they won't come back and one day you'll be sorry no I'm not trying to enable you well maybe I am but this one is on that list and I'm going to show it to you are you ready guys it's Aussie Girl from Hannah Lynn. This is my only Hannah Lynn that I have in my stash. They are discontinuing a couple of the large Hannah Lynn diamond paintings. There are still a lot of Hannah Lynn's on the Diamond Art Club website, so don't worry. But if you're a collector and you want to get them all, well, just go check out the that section on the website guys i'm a bit <laughs> i'm struggling to get my words out it's been too long i'm too excited i'm like oh okay you can tell can't you okay this is the small sticker that you get with a kit and you can put it on the outside of the box like this in case you're storing them a certain way or you can put them in your log book i put them in my log book you get a large sticker and guys yes this is the old sticker nowadays they have these all individually cut so you can just peel them off this is just one large sticker but it's in my stash for a while now so that's why i have the old kits but it will look exactly the same when you get it so this you can peel off so what is this this is the amount of colors so we've got 50 colors in here these are the symbols that you see on the canvas and look they are really distinct Oh, and thankfully they've got one, one, two, two, three, three, because <laughs> sometimes they do like a five and then the symbol is a six. I have never understood that, but okay. So look, these are all the symbols, 50 colors, and this is the DMC code. That's just the, the color coding that they're using for cross stitch. Diamond painting is based on cross stitch, so that's why they use these same numbers. And with Diamond Art Club, all the numbers between 150, so the first three are special drills called AB drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which means Northern Lights. And those drills have an iridescent coating to make them extra sparkly. Guys, I still have it. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Did you hear me say that? Okay, the size of this baby is 70 by 89 centimeters. And this is the picture. It's the Aussie Hanalyn. And the reason I got this is when I turned 30, 
I made a trip to Australia and I had just met Mr. A. We've only went out, I think, about three or four times. And I said, well, I'm going to Australia for uh, two months to travel. And one of my friends was over there, so I wanted to visit her. And uh, he said, well, oh, I'd like to go to Australia one day. And I said, well, why don't you come? And he did. He came a couple of weeks later and we um, rented a camper van and traveled for three weeks together. And we've been together ever since. So that's a little <laughs> side note. And that's the reason why I wanted to get this one. Uh, this is the toolkit. Guys, this is the older toolkit. Uh, they are changing this as well. But okay, within each toolkit is basically the same. Two plates of wax, the diamond painting pen, a squishy, a small four placer, a boat with a funnel, baggies and really sharp tweezers. Also, this is being changed out. Some of the diamond art club kits still have these uh, tool kits but they've got new ones now with uh, washi tape in them and uh, well there are a lot of creators who show them in real sneak peeks of the new releases not on this channel <laughs> in quite a while because okay just a little intermission of my stash of 52 until now, I'm four months in, I've been able to finish six. So I've got 46 to go. So, well, <laughs> no new diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club for me anytime soon. So I'll just do with this diamond painting toolkit. Okay, so it comes in a plastic sleeve. Oh man, I have missed unboxing these. <laughs> hey guys, I have unboxed. Um, no, I showed an update on my large mini cage um, this weekend, I think it was. And I just wanted to show the size of mini cage because it's huge. Um, in case you don't know what that project is about, I'll put a link over there. And um, I just wanted to compare it to um, uh, Never TT just to show you the size of the diamond painting. and already getting Nevertiti out of the box again. I was like, oh! <laughs> okay, I'm super excited guys. Well, this is the step-in-step -step instruction leaflet that has changed as well. <laughs> but maybe not in the kits that they're going to discontinue. So maybe you'll have this. And if you're watching this and because of my unboxing and all my ramblings, you decided I'm going to get Aussie Girl let me know if the insides are the same as I am showing you or if you did get a new toolkit. The drills to... Oh, wow! Oh, I already see some of my favorite cards, but I'll show you in a minute. Two large bags. They have stickers on them. Aussie girl, in case you want to store your drills separately from your canvas. We'll look at these in a minute, but look at the colors. Oh, the canvas. Okay, I'm just going to do this as I have always done it. So be back in a sec. Right guys, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, she is so cute. Oh, oh, wow, the colors, oh wow guys, the colors of the earth behind her are much redder than I had thought. Oh, I love her little Ugg style boots and of course she's got her little costume which reminds me of Bindi, the daughter of the unfortunately deceased crocodile hunter Steve Irwin and uh, well of course you've got the hair the, the Hannah Lynn hair she's got braids and she's holding a little koala and over here there's a little kangaroo and we have always said if uh, Australia was the same distance from the Netherlands as France we would have moved to Australia but it was just too far for us 
uh, from our family um, and friends. But what a great place. So I flew to Cairns and then I went with my friend to Port Douglas, which is a little bit higher than a bit more up north. And then we went down and we just did uh, Queensland um, just up till Brisbane and we flew back from Brisbane. So we did the with Sunday Islands, we did the Great Barrier Reef. Well, and my favorite, favorite place uh, when we went there was Nusa. I really love that, that little village. Okay, so guys, I'm going to show you up close like I always do. First, the fabric. It's made of tarpaulin, which is really soft and, well, Diamond Art Club is known for it. And you see the edges which have been scalloped and pierced so to prevent it from fraying. Then here in the top bottom, in the top bottom, in the bottom left, you have the thumbnail and Aussie Grill 70 by 89, Hannah Lynn Diamond Art Club. All the diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club are licensed and poured glue. Okay, the stickiness. And there's a legend in the top left, in the right bottom side, and on top it's Do What Makes You Sparkle Diamond Art Club. Okay. I'm going to take you up close. Right, so we're starting in the left bottom side and then we go up here, you see the symbol clarity. Guys, you see you can do line blocking. And then here you've got the bushes, here you've got the earth. The plants, the background, which is like, let me bring you up close. Look, this is color blocking. Oh, larger areas. Well, that will be quite easy to do. I love the way that they did that. Then we get to our hair. <laughs> That's one Hannah Lynn's for, known for. And of course, the beautiful flowers. And look at her sweet little face. Oh, and there's the little koala. Oh, and here's her uniform, her braids. Look, wow. And she's holding it in her hand, a nice pink accents and her, wow, belt. I love these tiny details. And there's the kangaroo. Oh, hi. <laughs> right. Look, and here are her boots, her Ugg boots. They look like Ugg boots. Wow. So I do think this one is quite easy to work on. I do think you can do a lot of, look, you've got like these areas that are just color blocking areas. And of course you've got the confetti in her hair. But I just wanted to show this one to you guys because maybe you haven't seen it yet. And well, maybe you just need a little nudge <laughs> to go get it on the website. Okay, the drills. Let's take a look at the drills. All right. So guys, if you know me, you know I don't do trains. And trains is where I show you each individual color and call out the number. But I'm going to show you the drills and the AB drills, the special drills. And with Hannah Lynn, uh, because these are more like sort of coloring pages and with that I mean that you do the outlining in black and then fill in the rest. It's with Hannah Lynn's and it's with Mandy Manzano's. So you've got a lot of 310. 310 is black, the black outlining. Let's see how many bags of 310 there are. Uh, guys, Diamond Art Club has changed to making their own drills in-house. So with the newer kits you will get New, their new drills. I don't have them as I have said, but these are perfect for me as well, so no problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> ten bags of three ten. It is a large painting, guys. Ooh, look, 
And this is one of my favorite colors, 775. I think they will use that for the sky. The colors in this one are fun, guys. And these are all for her hair, of course. These are the smaller ones. Wow. Ah, look, here we've got an 80. Ooh, the blue one. 136. You see that sparkle? That's not the same as this. You see, that's the iridescent coating. That's one of the ABs. Oh, I like this pink. Ah, another AB, the yellow. A really light yellow. 50 colors, guys. Well, nowadays, that's not even that much anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay, the second... Frame. Wow, this is a beautiful color. Oh, I love this color. 3846, it's a really bright blue. Ooh, if you like your light teal colors, well, as you can see, this one's good for you. Ooh, a lot of nice red one, 900, 351, 955. This comes really close to my favorite color, which is 964. But I don't think Diamond Art Club has that color. 134, a green one. I'll show you where the ABs go in a minute, guys. Some browns, green, cool pink. Ooh, this one's cool. Oh, only one of 3371. Normally you've got 3371, and um, that's a really dark brown. It's like the same as the, the 310. You see these a lot in, in Chuck Pinson. And 954. This comes really close to my favorite color. Wow. Okay, guys, where do the AB drills go? It's one, two, and three. Well, the twos are in here, in the leaves. Two, two, and you've got them in here. So just little accents in the green leaves. Then you've got one, 129, one, that's a little yellow one. Oh, okay. These are also in the plant oh, here. One, it's over here and here and here. So it's a little, just a little accent. I had some trouble finding this. Okay, so just a little bit over here. And then the three, that's the dark blue one. That's over here and over here. A little bit over here and a little bit over there so you can definitely add some bling if you want to I don't know if it needs it I do think that this red earth is just maybe a hint to the huge rock of Uluru uh, Ayers rock which is um, in the center of Australia. I don't know, maybe I'm making it up, but that's what it reminds me of. What I'm a bit worried about is the little kangaroo because it looks a bit red, just like the red of the brick, so I don't know how clear it comes out, but we'll have to see. So guys, thanks so much for joining me on this fun unboxing. Oh, I had so, so much fun doing this. <laughs> This feels so good. I'm going to put her away for a little while. But if you want this one, it's still available. I'll put a link uh, in the description below to the painting. If you want it, go and get it because once they run out of it, it won't be back. So you won't be able to get it anymore. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my sneak peek from <laughs> A final edition tomorrow I have another one for you so I hope you'll be back then and guys thanks so much for watching I hope you gave me a thumbs up on your way out and if you're still here 
Wow! <laughs> and if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Yes, a sneak peek of the final addiction. <laughs> yep, right. <laughs> okay, Liz. <laughs> Let's do that again.